I'd like just to see how Baha'u'llah has returned all of the key messages of the past, how he unites by being the return of each of the manifestations of the past. Baha'u'llah, Lord of the seven spheres, creates a new heaven and earth, creates a matrix of paradise with purpose. Revealer of the nine worlds, holy mariner of God's ark for today, Lord of the kingdom of God and his paradise. This is the new future that Baha'u'llah brings. Now I'm going to go back and read the new beginning that Baha'u'llah brings, the matrix of nature, the garden of Eden of humanity's childhood. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of the divine father calls for mankind to create a society conducive for the raising up of a new race of spiritual humanity. Now those manifestations and religions in the middle are the seven. Baha'u'llah has encircled them and united them and brought new meaning and reestablished their purity and their beauty so that we can actually practice the religions of the past, the essence of principles that they brought as a part of our own. And with that, would you read Adam, the cycle of adolescence? Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Adam calls the youth to choose the right path of spiritual purpose rather than self and passion. Noah, seeking the ark of safety. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Noah builds the ark of the covenant of safety for all mankind and establishes a religious community on a worldwide basis. Abraham, the covenant with the chosen, the one God. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Abraham as the Lord of oneness. He reveals the recognition of one uniting truth. I might add he calls for the community of God in this day to be the new chosen vessels, as I put it before, uh, special forces. You know, if we had that analogy that he's brought the ocean of truth, well, we're the new seals. Uh, we're special trained to go into the depths of the sea with the message of God. Okay, Moses, the lawgiver. He brings the administrative order, knowledge and righteousness. He establishes the sacred snow white spot of obedience. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Moses reveals the law and creates a new world order. Baha'u'llah calls the chosen to sacrificial service to humanity, offers knowledge and education as means for the advancement of civilization and justice as the foundation for modern world. He comes as Christ, the spirit of unity, the spirit of the kingdom. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Christ unites the diverse communities of the world by the power of faith and love as the true means. Muhammad, seal of the prophets, divine unity. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of Muhammad reveals a greater meaning of divine unity. Baha'u'llah reveals the hidden meanings of God's word. The Bab, the youthful spirit of the new age. He's the uh, beginning of the maturity and the end of adolescence. Baha'u'llah in the spirit of the Bab calls the lovers to the seat of sanctity. Baha'u'llah calls the lovers to serve in the spirit of the dawnbreakers. Baha'u'llah, Lord of the seven spheres, creates a new heaven and earth, creates the matrix of paradise with purpose. Baha'u'llah is the revealer of the nine worlds. Baha'u'llah is the holy mariner of God's ark for today, Lord of the kingdom of God and his paradise. Likewise, continue thou to ascend through one revelation after another, knowing that thy progress in the knowledge of God shall never come to an end, even as it can have no beginning.